everyone and welcome back to another episode of police in the patrol officers i'm back i made it back i'm not 100 percent, but i'm feeling oh so much better so yeah we are back thank you all so much for all the well wishes you've been giving me it really does mean a lot and yeah i appreciate you all sticking by the channel over the last week it really does mean the world to me and as you can see we are doing a multiplayer episode and we are doing that with the one and only Giza Gaming. How's it going, sir? Thank you for coming along today and uh, coming out on patrol with me. I really appreciate it. Well, it's uh, nice to be here with you. I know we've been discussing it uh, quite a bit over the last couple of months here, so it's great to finally get it back uh, or get it going. And it's great to see you back. I'm glad you're feeling a lot better. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really, really do appreciate it. And yeah, it has been a few months in the making, but we've uh, finally managed to get it working. So guys, as is usual, I'll have Geezer's link pinned in the description down below. So if you haven't already, go and give him a like and a subscribe. And for this week's episodes, we are going to be using the Miami Dade Police Pack. A link for that will also be in the description below. And I think we'd go ahead and start in Beaufort Landing, because why the flip not? <laughs> Okay. Let's wait for my partner there to get out of his seat. Wonderful. 119. You can show me 1041, 108. Well, definitely, uh, definitely looking forward to being uh, in in the multiplayer here. So. Right. Yeah, and I do hope you guys are all having a wonderful Wednesday, of course, or whenever you are watching this. And as it is a Wednesday, we are taking the Crown of Victoria. All right, I will keep my eyes open. Okay, sounds on good. Some, on some traffic for you. Sounds good. Yeah, hopefully dispatch will have something for us there in a moment. Yeah, I tell you, that last update has just been a godsend for me, uh, getting getting the callouts working again. I've right. uh, completely fallen back in love with this game. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good game. It's, I absolutely love the game. Well, pretty quiet so far. Hopefully, as you said, we'll... Uh, there you go. You've said it now. Now we're going to get all the calls under the sun. That's good. Calls are good. <laughs> right. Calls are action. <laughs> yeah, action. Definitely is what we want to see. Oh, there we go. 119. I'll be 1097 en route to the area where that wanted person was last spotted. I was trying to mark an area on the map, but I just remembered in multiplayer, you can't quite do that, so. Uh, negative dispatch. I'm currently 10 6 unavailable. Yeah, I love how it gives us two calls in the space of 30 seconds. Gotta love it. <laughs> well, after a few months and no calls at all, right, two is yeah. just, just, just good. Oh, yeah, definitely, <laughs> no. But I've definitely, uh, been enjoying the videos you've been making up until just this last week when you oh look at this are guy are you serious right now come on dude there look it at is. this guy yeah as i was saying uh i've i've been watching your content the whole time while i wasn't playing the game it's uh i, I definitely love your role play aspect that you do it's uh it's phenomenal i tried to try to replicate it it's not as easy as it looks so no <laughs> much it's not no and i really do appreciate that it's absolutely uh, uh, wonderful you know yeah a lot of kudos to you because like i said i i spent a about a six hour recording day and i came away with about three minutes of good material i'm like well this guy he's 
He's he's a master. <laughs> so I can't do it. <laughs> right, I've got a couple of years under my belt. <laughs> 119, I'm going to be on a 1011, it's going to be of a brown sedan, license plate 4 Kilo November, Golf 4 2, occupy one time, Nero 32 is needed. Alright, I will watch your back, partner. Thank you very much, sir. Good evening, ma'am, Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department, reason for the stop is you ran a red light back there, are you aware of that? You forgot your colorblind glasses? Well, that isn't good, ma'am. Alrighty, do you have any ID on you at all? License, registration, proof, insurance of the vehicle? Thank you very much, ma'am. Really do appreciate that. Okay, Paula Murray, that's going to be valid. Alrighty, and she doesn't have any valid insurance. Okay, ma'am. Would you mind stepping out the vehicle for me? Move to the sidewalk, please. Okay. She had a uh, smoke and tailpipe going on there as well. Right, and she's also had a verbal warning for driving around insurance, so this time she's going to be getting a citation for that. Okay, ma'am. Have you consumed any alcohol or taken any drugs I should be made aware of? Okay, ma'am. At this time, we're going to be getting multiple citations, okay? First citation is going to be for ignoring a red light. The second citation is going to be for driving with no valid insurance. And the third citation is going to be for driving with a smoking tailpipe, okay? Did you uh, get the red light as well? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Got them all. <laughs> All right, I was distracted by a uh, civilian asking for directions there, so uh, just wanted to make sure. Yeah, thank you very much. That's all good. No problem. All righty, ma'am. You are going to be free to leave. However, being as you don't have any insurance, that a vehicle is going to be impounded and be taken to our impound yard, okay? So you are free to take out of it anything that you do need, and then the vehicle will be taken down to our lot. And once you've got all the correct paperwork there, uh, you can come down and get the vehicle from the impound yard. So uh, I'm just going to need to go ahead and take the keys from you, and you are going to be free to leave. All right, ma'am. You have a wonderful day. 119, can I get a 1051 down to my current 20 for an impounded vehicle? Ten four, copy that, thank you dispatch. And 119, I'm going to be out looking for that wanted person. It's going to be Moray and Mean. It's going to be an African American female with black hair and they're going to be wearing a green dress. And 119 at 1011 is going to be code 4. Okay, so I'm not thinking she's on this street. Let's have a look at our map here. Okay, I'm thinking she's going to be down there. Maybe she's in the park or she's on that street. So we are going to go ahead and get back in our vehicle here. Yeah, I figured she's probably the next street over as well. Oh, hang on. Dispatcher just given us an update of 20. Let's see what's changed. Uh, oh, okay. She may be moving this way. Now that's a bit oh, of a yeah. problem because we've got... She could be on that street or that street. Um, we could split up, maybe? I'll take one street and you take the other? Yeah, I can walk around to the other street and see what we find. Alright, sounds good. Uh, I'll keep you posted via uh, radio. Roger that.
Okay, I'm uh, not seeing anyone to match the description at the moment. Have you got him? I was just going to say I just spotted uh, her here walking towards the park. Okay. She uh, is heading northbound on the street that I'm on, just about to enter the park. M4. Uh, yeah, I have a 20. 119 standby, possible 20 on that suspect. Uh, yeah, that could be her. 119, we're oh, going to be in a 1070. 1070. Hey, ma'am, stop running. You're going to get tased, BPD. Really? Come on, ma'am. Give it up. There we go. Alrighty, ma'am. Any ID on you at all? Why are you running home? We just wanted to have a little chat. That's all we wanted. But now you've just gone ahead and made it a whole lot worse. Okay, ma'am. At this time, you're going to be placed under arrest for having an open warrant in your name and for fleeing from law enforcement. Can okay? you please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me, alright? 119, one in custody. Okay, ma'am, I'm just going to move you to the sidewalk for your own safety. For me over here for me, please. There we go. Okay, ma'am, anything on you is going to poke me, hurt me, stick me, or otherwise. Okay, do you have a handgun permit? Is the next question. Yes, you do. Okay, perfect. Alrighty, ma'am. 119, can I get a 32 chance of a current 20 for a 1015? Ten four, copy that. Thank you, dispatch. Good rest. Good rest. Thank you very much. Good teamwork. All right. Hopefully, back uh, or transport's not too far away. Nope. I can already <laughs> hear them running their sirens as they love to do in the good old city of Brighton. Excellent. Hey there, partner. Thank you for coming out. This one is all yours. Alrighty, guys. I will see you when we are back at the patrol car. Okay, guys. We have made it back for our patrol car. 119. You can show me code 4 and 10 available for calls. Ah, uh, negative dispatch. Apparently 10 6. <laughs> I was just going to say, that didn't take long at all. Oh, come on now. Are you just going to leave the suspect in the middle of the street? Oh, my Lord. Whoops. Don't worry. <laughs> that guy must have been on his first day or something like that. Uh, 119, I'll be 1097 to that traffic stop. Yeah, it was kind of kind of crazy. We've got lots of action going on today. This is good. Right. It is very good. Where we got that traffic stop. Oh yeah, the, the map doing its glorious little bounce back and forth when you're an equidistant through two different routes and it flip-flops on you. <laughs> right, I just gave up with following the map. I just uh, stick to my route and if it changes, then so be it. Not playing that game anymore. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what this guy's doing in front of us here. Hmm, possible DWI. I'm just going to wait for a straightaway. Hopefully okay. he goes the same way oh. we're going. Because I agree this. with you. It could be... I'm not getting anything when I focus in on him. Oh, it looks like it's speeding, it says, though. We'll kind of have a bar it. Yeah, it was a little bit of erratic driving, if you ask me, but not, not as wobbly as you usually see, but... Right. Definitely not normal. <sighs> no, definitely <laughs> not. We'll go and have a bar of him, see what comes of it. Oh, well, at least he's pulling over right outside the police station. There you are. I don't see that every day. All right. Did you uh, yeah. want to go ahead and take this one? I could certainly go and do that. All right. I'll call it in on the radio. 119. I'm going to be on a 1011. It's going to be over Brown. Brown Victoria. License plate 810. Go echo 782. Occupy one time. No 32 is needed. All right, what are we? We're in the evening. Good yes, we are. Good evening, good evening, ma'am. How are you doing today? We're uh, pulling you over to take a look at 
you are driving. Looked a little erratic back there. Can I uh, get some ID from you, please? All right, thank you very much for your ID. We have uh, Vadika Bennett. All right, I'll uh, go ahead and run that. Looks like the insurance is invalid. Okay. Uh, that comes back to a nothing. There's nothing there. It's completely bogus over. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm also picking up an order of al alcohol in your vehicle. Can you uh, please step to the curb for me, ma'am? Yeah, so at this time, she's going to be placed under arrest for possession of a fake ID. At the very least, could be uh, driving while under the influence of alcohol as well. We will definitely do some testing and find out. All right, ma'am, we just need to check and see if you've been driving under the influence of any alcohol this evening. No, she comes back clean. Okay, maybe. All right, ma'am. Well, we're gonna check you for some drug yeah, as well. Yeah, I was gonna well. say maybe just, she's uh, under the influence of any some sort of substance. We just need to check. That was some pretty erratic driving. No, she looks good there as well. So she's all good on that. Well, it's still a legitimate stop. Yeah. All right. Well, ma'am. Uh, Afraid we're gonna have to put you under arrest for a fake ID. One nineteen, one custody. All right, let's give her a quick search here. I do not want to know why she has satin gloves in the passenger from passenger door card there. <laughs> oh, and human teeth in the trunk. There it is. Can't be driving out of Brighton without some of them. I love when we get the human teeth in the car. Like, nothing nothing shocks me more. Now all we need all is right. damp raisins. Yeah, the trifecta, right? Right. Human teeth, damp raisins, and some satin gloves. <laughs> uh, I got I got a nail clipper instead. That's all good. 119. Could I get a 1051 down to a current 20 to an impounder vehicle? All right. Well, we're, we're nice and close. Do you want to just escort her in? Yeah, go for it. I mean, it's what, 50 meters away? <laughs> yeah. Just go to walk, <laughs> her in the, walk her into the cell. I will. I will walk her in. 119 at 1011. It's going to be code 4. You can show us 1015, 1019, and uh, negative dispatch. All right, ma'am. We're going to escort you in here and uh, take you down to holding. You'll be processed out. Alrighty, what I am going to do is I'm actually going to make my way over to this traffic stop. I'm going to go on foot, otherwise we're not going to make it. Roger that, I'll meet you on site. 10-4, copy. Where is it? Oh, are you kidding me? Negative dispatch, I'm still 10-6. Oh, what did I get that there for? What do you mean I failed to arrive? I'm here! Oh my goodness sake. I literally made it about a second too late. Wow, that is annoying. And there's loads of cars just sat here, not having a clue what to do. Um, okay, well, I guess we're going to deal with this. Alrighty. Ma'am, could you possibly make a U-turn for me, please? There we go. Oh, I got a graffiti artist here. I'm going to stop. Okay. Be the same with you, sir. You turn for me, please. Thank you very much. Negative dispatch. Currently 10 6. Alrighty. Hey, sir, can you make a U turn, please? There you go. Okay. Sir, can you make a U turn for me, please? And same with you, ma'am. U turn, please. Thank you very much. Okay. 
Alrighty. Well, that was a wasted journey. Well, this uh, this guy with uh, with the graffiti here, he's also smelling of alcohol. So we're just checking him out really quick. Okay. Looks like he is not carrying anything bad. His ID came back good, so he'll just be getting a, a ticket for uh, his vandalism today. Okay, excellent. One nineteen, you can show me code four and ten eight bubble of calls. I will head back to the car. And four, copy that. Where am I going? Oh, you just disappeared off the map. There it is. Seems legit. Uh, I should be right in front of you there, buddy. You are. I was looking at the map to see where you were, and all of a sudden I come back out and there's a car. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, partner. <laughs> You're welcome. One nineteen up at ten ninety seven code one for that minor accident. I was just gonna comment on the horrible AI driving and here we go. Right. <laughs> accident time. Yep. Well, what we can do to uh, avoid any mix-up on scene is uh, if you want to process the uh, the drivers, I can work the camera and get some pictures and get some, some other stuff done for you. Oh, yeah. Sounds good to me. Get any of the uh, onlookers from the streets while you deal with the drivers and uh, and get get all those pictures taken out taken care of yeah definitely sounds like a good plan there partner i just know how easy it is especially for an old timer like me to keep all those people's details straight <laughs> right yeah keep them all in line it's actually something i uh i actually took from you watching you as you give people their citations as you discover them rather than doing everything at the end i used to do everything all at the end right and hence i had a notepad and i took all my notes and then i did all the citations and arrests at the end and uh yeah. watching your videos definitely inspired me to change up the way that i do it so that i don't forget things as often so. oh, okay well i really do appreciate yeah I mean, yeah i used to do it that way too but then i started to forget things and it wasn't very good so that's when i did them as i oh. uh, found them Got a, got a graffiti man over there on the street corner. Ah, uh, well, it's our lucky day. But, yeah, we're uh, we're a little far away from the accident scene still, so he lucked out. Yes, he did. If it was close enough, I'd run back and take him down, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> There we go. 119, you can show me 23 on scene on that minor accident. Always the taxi drivers. Always the taxi drivers. Yep. All right, I'll check for any witnesses along the street here really quick. Okay, sounds good. Alrighty. Good evening, ma'am. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, ma'am. Thank you very much for that. Do you have any ID on you at all? License, registration, proof, insurance off the vehicle? Thank you very much, ma'am. Really do appreciate that. Okay, what I've got here, Zara Zhu, that is going to be valid. And that is also going to be valid. One X ray Zulu 923. 
Okay, that all comes back clear and valid. Wonderful, ma'am. Have you consumed any alcohol while taking any drug that I should be made aware of? Okay, ma'am. You just bear with me and I'll be back with you in a moment, alright? Good evening, ma'am. Can you put the phone down for me, please? Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, ma'am. Thank you very much, Flat. Do you have any ID on you at all? License, registration, proof, insurance off the vehicle. Thank you very much, ma'am. Much appreciated. Okay, Farrah Morgan, that is going to be expired, and that is going to be valid 9, X-ray Victor, 9 2 0. Okay. Alrighty, ma'am. At this time, you can be getting a citation for that expired ID. That'll be between 75 and $100. And have you consumed any alcohol or taken any drugs that you should be made aware of, ma'am? Okay, she's got a little bit of alcohol in her system, but nothing that we're too concerned about here. Okay, perfect. Ma'am, just bear with me. I'll be back with you in a moment, alright? Right. Um, let's see if there's license plates, which there are. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Ma'am, thank you for your patience and cooperation. Here is an accident report for you. And you are most welcome, ma'am. You are going to be free to leave. You have a wonderful day. Take care. One nineteen. Can I get a ten fifty one down to my current twenty four A immobilized vehicle? Ten four, copy that. Thank you, dispatch. Alrighty, ma'am. Thank you for your patience and cooperation. Here is an accident report for you. And you are most welcome. And you're also going to be free to leave. You have a wonderful day there. Take care. One nineteen. Can I get a ten fifty one down to my current twenty for an immobilized vehicle? Ten four, copy that. Thank you, dispatch. I'm dispatched. That accident scene is going to be code four, and you can show me ten nineteen. Well, that went pretty smooth today. It did. It did definitely. Aside from that taxi that's stuck there. <laughs> right. We're just going to uh, mosey on out of here and forget about that. Yep. Pretty, uh, pretty action-packed shift. Yeah, for the day. A pretty decent shift there. We have. Oh, we're not too far away from the from the precinct. That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, luckily it's just around the corner. Like when you get a nice, convenient end of shift and you're just a couple minutes away. Right, it is perfect. Ah, the dreaded one-way street. Yeah, we gotta love them. <laughs> Uh, so many times I've pulled up that one-way street the wrong way, and it's like, oh, it is just tempting. doing it. <laughs> it is, yeah, it's tempting. You're like, ah, um, yeah, I didn't see that sign. So many times I'm so focused on paying attention to not speeding and to all the other things, and I end up completely missing that sign and just make that turn, and it's like, well, I'm already here. Right, Whoops. yeah, it's too late now. <laughs>
Oh, you've got to love the 15 mile an hour speed limits. Oh, I know. I... <laughs> If there's one thing that I wish, it was just like, turn that up to 25. Make 25 the slowest. Or even 20. 20 is a bit better. Yeah, it's just, it's crazy. Oh, definitely. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm six foot seven. So for me, I can walk 20 miles an hour. Right. <laughs> like, there's, there's no way you got this 15 speed. I'd be walking past your cop car. <laughs> right. Oh, jeez. Alrighty, guys. Well, I do hope that you enjoyed that episode of Police in the Patrol Office. Of course, it is really nice to be back. And once again, thank you so much for your patience there over the past week. I really do appreciate it. But that's all that's left to me for say now is until the next episode. Take care. <laughs>